Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unity 3D tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a simple ragdoll for your game. So if you're creating something like a character and you have a bone structure set up for that character and maybe you want to do something like throw them down a flight of stairs and have each part of their body react to the staircase or other objects when they're falling. So if you want their arm to hit a certain way and their body to fling a certain way, maybe you're making just, you know, a simple ragdoll game where your character gets launched out of a car or something like that. Um, you can use ragdoll physics for this. So I think there is a way to actually integrate this into maybe Mechanim or other things like that through animation and then transferring it to a ragdoll. Um, we'll try going over that in the future. I haven't gotten too much into depth with setting this stuff up. I do know how to set up the ragdoll itself though. So from there I guess we'll learn together and try creating something cool with that. Now I don't know how it's going to be implemented in my game for the Dota project. Maybe after my character gets killed with a certain attack, um, it'll apply force and send my character flying um, across the map or something like that. But we'll figure something out in the future. For now, I'll, I'm just going to teach you guys how to set this up. So if you haven't done character modeling or rigging before, you may want to follow a couple tutorials on how to set that stuff up. Um, in the hierarchy of that, you want to set up each bone to represent a certain piece of the ragdoll. So, for example, there's the head, spine, shoulders, elbows, um, everything like that. Um, I don't know if my character will work too well with this. I think some of the physics may be off a bit, and it might look a little weird for how it's set up. Um, but we'll still go through, and I'll just show you guys how to set that up. Maybe there's a something I can make in the future to correct this with a better object. If you guys don't have a character right now and you want to actually test this out, you can go to the Asset Store, um, the Unity Asset Store, and download a pre-made character for free and test it with that bone structure. So you want to go to Game Object, Create Other, and we want to create a ragdoll. Now in here, we are going to be plugging in each different bone. So my character has a bunch of different bones, not represented by the actual model itself, but actual bones that are rigged um, to actually handle the animations and whatnot. So we can go down and drop down the hierarchy, and we can see the different bone structures that are actually implemented in here. Now, each character is going to be different. If you're just making a human character or... Um, like an animal or something, it may be a little bit different of how that's set up. So this tutorial will not cover everything like that. Um, so you'll probably want to learn some animation and rigging to set this all up properly. All right, so for our root, we will just do our root character. Left hips, um, let's see here. I guess I don't have a certain side for each hips. So I guess we'll just grab the leg instead. And we don't really have a knee, so we'll grab that and our foot. So right now, like I said before, it's not set up properly. This is just how my animator set it up in the past. And so it's going to be a little bit different from how it normally is or going to be. Um, so top of right leg, we'll just set that for that. Right foot. Um, let's see here. We'll actually set this to right leg up and right leg. And so left arm, we'll go down here. Let's see. Here's right arm, left arm. So we'll just start with, let's see. Does need the hand? So we'll just do forearm and left arm. And we'll go and do the same for the right. So we'll do right arm and right forearm. And for the middle of the spine, we'll just do the normal spine for now. And for head, we will just grab our character's head. So now once we actually have everything plugged in, we can actually go ahead and hit create. Um, you can actually change the different things like mass, that's just 
you know how much the object actually weighs maybe that'll make it um, so when you apply force either it takes a lot more force to move the object or whatnot but yeah. so we can hit create and you'll see that it sets up a simple structure here now it looks really weird right now um, definitely not everything is set up correctly you do want to have it in a t-pose I think that's what probably messes up a little bit more and whatnot but I'm sure if you download a model from the asset store it'll probably work out a little bit better than this so now that we have something like this set up we can drop that down we can actually lift our character up a little bit higher and we can actually go in and test this and see how it works now it's probably gonna look really weird yeah as you can see here the bone structure is completely messed up and freaking out right now so right off the bat we know that the we can see that the bone structure functions but it does not function in the way that we actually want it to and that's what I get for using a model that wasn't specifically targeted for a ragdoll physics um, so yeah maybe in the future I can actually try fixing this a little bit more but you guys get the basic idea let's actually go and set up a box real quick but yeah for people wondering just how to set this up your model will work a lot better than this one this one looks very ugly for how it's set up and it's totally broken but you get the main idea of actually how to set something like this up and that's the point of this tutorial pretty much just to teach you guys the tools to set that up I am not much of a animator or rigger and so let's see here so we'll set this up and hopefully we'll get a reaction on the box I might have to set physics on that box but if you see now it actually reacts to the box when it hits it and you can see it moving a little bit more and it's sliding off of the box and you can actually see the different bones actually moving when it hits the ground I guess it's just that leg right there that's kinda of messing up everything else seems to be acting normal but yeah so that's the basics for now of how to set something like that up like I said later I will talk a little bit about how to add force to this object so let's say our character attacked it with some kind of attack like um, like a spell attack or something and we want to knock it back I will teach you guys how to set something like that up so if it gets hit in a certain position it'll fly back and the physics or the ragdoll physics will actually calculate how that um, how that character will fly back and hit something so hopefully this helps some people out sorry that it didn't turn out or look as good as I would have hoped but you know we have something set up right now so yeah, stay tuned guys for future tutorials and hopefully I can get some more out soon.